Hello and welcome to this Quicksand Solutions tutorial on processing vendor payments in Business Central. Today we are going to discuss how to identify vendor invoices that are due and how to create payments for these invoices. Let's get started. Business Central provides a variety of ways to identify which invoices are due for payment. We'll start with the Outstanding Vendor Invoices fact box, which is available in the Business Central home screen. Selecting this provides you with a list of all open vendor invoices. The entries in red indicate overdue invoices which should be paid. A second option is the Aged Accounts Payable Report. This report allows you to view vendor invoices based on various aging criteria, such as the aging date, aging method, length of aging periods, and additional options such as displaying invoices that are overdue by a certain number of days. To see a breakdown of individual invoices, enable the Print Detail option. Let's preview this report to see the output. Now that we've identified vendor invoices which are due for payment, Let's look at how we can process those payments. The Payment Journals page is used to create and process vendor payments in Business Central. On this page, you enter lines for each vendor you want to apply payments to. Each line can be linked to a single invoice or multiple invoices. To start, enter the vendor's account number, then select Process Apply Entries. A list of open vendor invoices for the selected vendor will display. To apply invoices to the Payment Journal line, left-click in the Applies to ID field for the invoice in question, then select Process Set Applies to ID. Notice that the document number from the journal line is populated in the Applies to ID field, indicating that the invoice is now linked to the journal line. Repeat this process for any other invoices you want to include on the journal line. If you are applying a partial payment, update the Amount to Apply field with the value you are paying. When ready, click OK. On the journal line, notice that the Amount field is automatically populated with the sum value of the selected invoice payments. Confirm the information in the remaining fields is correct, such as the payment method code, the balance account type, and the balance account number. In our case, we're using a balance account type of bank account, and we're using our checking bank account as the balance account number. Before posting, let's take a look at the bank payment type field. This field has four options. Computer check. Use this if you're printing checks from Business Central for physical printing or email distribution. Manual check. Select this if you're using an external method to generate checks, such as handwriting checks. This method is also often used to record wire transfer transactions in Business Central. Electronic payment. Select this if you're generating an electronic payment file, such as an EFT file and Electronic Payment IAT. Select this if you are generating an electronic payment file for the ACH format, which is commonly used for US-based electronic payments. In our example, we will choose Computer Check. After completing entry of the journal line, you can add additional lines for any other vendors that you want to create payments for. Let's select a different vendor and take a look at a different way you can associate an invoice with a journal line. We'll enter a new line and select Vendor 20,000. This time, instead of using the Process Apply Entries method, we will browse for and select a single invoice number. Locate the Applies to Document Number field and select the ellipsis. A list of open invoices is presented, much like the screen presented when using the Apply Entries method. 
However, in this case, we are only selecting a single invoice. Left click on a line to select it, then click OK. Notice that again, the amount field is automatically populated with the amount of the selected invoice. Also, the applies to document number field has been populated with the invoice number that we have selected. Please note that this method is only applicable when you want to associate a single invoice with a single journal line. To complete this line, we'll select computer check as the bank payment type. Next, let's look at a third way that we can select invoices for payment within the payment journal. From the menu bar, select prepare, suggest vendor payments. This screen presents you with a number of options for how Business Central can suggest vendor payments based on your selected criteria. For example, certain vendors may offer payment discounts for early payments, or certain vendors may be a higher priority for payment if funds are limited. You can also set default field values for the journal lines that are generated. In our example, we'll keep the standard settings and filter based on vendor 30,000. Click OK when ready. As you can see, Business Central has generated multiple lines corresponding to each open invoice for this vendor. If you prefer to group the invoices in a single journal line, you can enable the Summarize by Vendor option on the Suggest Vendor Payment screen. Let's remove these entries and try this again with that option enabled. Enable the option Summarize per Vendor and click OK again. A single journal line totaling the value of the three invoices is generated. We'll fill in the missing field values and then our line is ready. Once all lines are complete, we're ready to move on to the next step. Depending on your bank payment method, you may at this time need to print your checks or export your EFT data. Since we are using computer checks, we must print the checks before we can post. Select Check, Print Check. We are presented with some options for printing the checks, such as confirming the bank account and last check number, and payment journal template and batch name. When ready, click Print. The checks are generated. After printing the checks, notice that the Check Printed field is now enabled for each line. We are now ready to post. Select Post Print and Post. The payment journal has been posted and the vendor payments have been processed. Let's look at one final way we can generate payment journal lines. We'll do this from the Vendors page. We'll close the Payment Journals window and open up the Vendors page. Select the vendor that you want to create a payment for, then select Process, Pay Vendor. A list of vendor invoices is presented. Select the invoice you wish to pay, and select Process, Create Payment. In the Edit Create Payment window, there are various options to confirm, such as the payment journal template name and batch name, uh, bank account, and payment type. Click OK when ready. We're returned to the Payment Journal page, and we can see that a line has been created from the invoice we selected. If we go to Process, Apply Entries, we can see that the selected invoice has been linked to the payment journal line. Instead of using a bank payment method of computer check, let's look at how to generate an EFT file. 
We'll select a bank payment type of electronic payment. There are a number of requirements to set up EFT payments in Business Central. In this video, we will not be reviewing those details, but stay tuned for future videos on this subject. Once we are ready to generate our EFT file, we select Bank Export. On the Export Electronic Payment screen, review the options and fill in the details as required. Select OK when ready. A remittance file will be created. This remittance can be sent to vendors to inform them of the payment that you will be making via EFT. Next, we need to generate the EFT output file. Select Actions, Functions, Generate EFT File. On this screen, you will see a list of EFT entries that were created by the Bank Export function in the previous step. When ready, select Generate EFT Files. A text file will be created based on the EFT data exchange format that was configured. This file can be uploaded to an online banking service to process the actual EFT transaction. Close the Generate EFT Files window. At this point, we are ready to post the Payment Journal badge. Select Post Print and Post. The Payment Journal is posted. Thanks for watching. This concludes the Quicksand Solutions tutorial on processing vendor payments in Business Central. You can learn more about Quicksand Solutions and how we help businesses digitally transform at quicksand.com.